it's your boy Justin, Jay Verizzle Fisher. We're in the western North Carolina mountains up in Appalachian country. I can't give you our exact location because there'd be a bunch of people that would be mad at me, uh, including that guy that's standing there in the background. That would be uh, JD, JD, <laughs> JD uh, codename Beaker. Uh, Y'all ever seen the Muppets? You know, the, the tall guy with the red hair that doesn't say anything other than me, 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 me. Yep, that's him. Uh, we're doing a two day fishing excursion up here, going after some mountain trout. Got a little bit of a, a bet going on between the two of us. First one to the Grand Slam wins. If y'all don't know what the Grand Slam is, here in the North Carolina trout mountain waters, it's uh, catching one of each species. So you catch your rainbow trout, your brown trout, and your brook trout. You get all three, considered the slam. Don't exactly know what we wagered, can't remember, but it's just whoever is the first one to the slam wins. Uh, I can tell you right now we are in Pisgah National Forest, but that's the only thing that I can really give up. Beautiful territory, and um, have not caught anything quite yet. We've had some bites, just haven't been able to reel one in. Let's we'll see what we can come up with. Thanks for watching, y'all. Ah, oh, that was a bite. We'll see if uh, Beaker can Euro nymph one out of that there fast moving to the pool. Man, it just looks like a good trout hole. <laughs> the biggest catch in the day.
Keep them up. Keep them up. Hey, JD. Let's see what we got. That. And we have what appears to be a brown trout. Very nice, very nice catch. Didn't have my mic on, but if you guys can see that. Put it back close. Got us a brown trout. So we're on the board with one fish, and we're gonna release this guy so we can get him out of the net. Show it to you one more time. Nice little brown trout. He's probably uh, 12 or better. So we'll let him go. There he goes. Awesome, awesome catch. We're uh, fishing with a brown or cream brown mop fly. It's got a little bit of sparkle in it too, so good deal. Alright, so uh, we're at a different location. We're still technically in Pisgah, but just kind of on the outskirts of it. Somewhere we've been several times before. And we usually have decent luck here, but it doesn't look like anybody's been back here in a, in a minute. Because we are definitely bushwhacking some trail to get back to where we normally fish. It is not easy going at all. We can just see what happens. If I was back there, it'd probably be better for me. I think you maybe like right here. If he didn't move when it dropped in the water, you might be good. He didn't. Yeah. Oh, he's going to look at it. Uh, he's moving on now. I spooked him. I don't know if y'all can see, right below me there's a school of small, I don't know if they're trout or rock bass, but they keep going after my, my lure there. Yes, their mouths aren't big enough to even eat it. They're all schooled up right over there. They're just like out of reach. Beaker's over there fishing for the elusive bridge trout. He is on the board with one brook trout down on the south end of where we were. So it's uh, tied up one and one. I got one brown, he's got one brook. I've lost two. I don't know how many he's lost. It's been a tough day of fishing, but we've been having fun and we've scaled a whole lot of terrain, that's for sure. 
Well, it appears that Beaker has caught one of the elusive bridge fish. And he's got two now. This one was a rainbow, so he's up two to one on me right now. Day one, and uh, I'm starting out. Day two, stay tuned. 